This is a WISC TV3 editorial with editorial director Neil Heinen. Of course, the state of South Carolina must finally remove the Confederate battle flag from the grounds of its statehouse building. And of course, Walmart, Sears, eBay, and now finally Amazon must remove Confederate flag merchandise from its stores and websites. And then, most importantly, we fellow citizens of the United States of America must stop tacitly tolerating the flag emblem on our vehicles, our belts, in our homes, or anywhere else for that matter. Because make no mistake, the reluctance or refusal of each and every one of us to condemn this offensive symbol of racial hatred contributed to an environment in which Dylan Roof could murder nine black parishioners in a Charleston church. And it's got to stop. It's not just symbols that create this environment. It's the bitter partisanship of our politics, the lack of respect for diverse opinions, the manufactured anger that passes for entertainment on talk radio, and the ease with which we attack people with whom we disagree. We tolerate lies. We fail to challenge bigotry and hatred. How could we be surprised from such a culture would a Dylan Roof emerge?